Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Prince Kasai. Um, today I'm going to talk about the high speed software IP routing on commodity of the commercial of the shelf hardware. That, uh, that is a uh, commodity hardware uh, that can be purchased in the IT Hubble or Amazon. So, um, first, I'd, I'd like to uh, introduce myself. Uh, I'm Prince Kasai. I've just joined uh, PFN uh, in this April. Uh, the, my former position of uh, career uh, was at University of Tokyo, and the, I taught uh, cloud computing there. Uh, my hobby is about the operating system, system programming, and Splatoon. So please uh, <laughs> play Splatoon <laughs> with me uh, if you are interested in. Uh, my uh, unique experience uh, experiences have been acquired in the uh, research assistant. Uh, Career in the National Astronomical, uh, National Astronomical Observatory, Japan. Uh, I was there. Uh, I, I had been there for five years uh, as a research assistant. Uh, yeah, what I have done there uh, is was to go to some uh, uh, unique places. Mm -hmm. Our uh, small telescope in Hawaii, Alma in Chile, and Ogasawa in Tokyo. <coughs> so um, the uh, the Smart telescope is uh, about the 4,500 meters height, and the other one was the 5,000. So the, there are uh, less oxygen, so I, I don't remember. I didn't. I don't remember well what I did there <laughs> because the notes in there. No, 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 no a, a few <laughs> oxygen there. Uh, but yeah, and the, uh, it is very far from here. Uh, Hawaii is very uh, easy to access. Uh, it took about 12 hours by plane. Yeah, for Alma, uh, we can go there. Uh, the, that is in Chile. Uh, we need uh, 30, only 30 hours. But uh, to go to the uh, Ogasara in Tokyo, in Tokyo, that is very important. Uh, but the, uh, uh, we need uh, 25 hours <laughs> to go there. So if you're interested in uh, going to the Ogasara, uh, please take uh, one week, uh, one week holidays, because they, uh, it runs uh, one ship. A week. <laughs> okay, and the I, uh, yeah, yeah. I think the, uh, you uh, know there was a uh, solar total solar eclipse in United States uh, in this month. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, uh, in Japan, we observed we experienced the uh, total solar eclipse in 2009. So I uh, did. I, I I was involved in the some uh, broadcasting of the. Uh, uh, solar eclipse, eclipse via satellite system. So I delivered, uh, we delivered the video content from uh, Iwoto, Iwojima uh, via satellite system to the broadcast and the science museums. Uh, so why we chose uh, Iwojima there? Uh, that there is a weather fact that, uh, that there is a low cloud pro uh, probability at that season and the uh, low typhoon day. So we chose Abasawa for the uh, uh, observation. So this is this uh, system overview, but I don't talk, talk about that much. But if you're interested in, please uh, uh, let me know. I, I can introduce the, this system. Uh, we did this, some uh, preparation rehearsals, and but the on the day of the total solar eclipse in Tokyo, uh, it was cloudy. So our <laughs> choice was uh, correct. So we chose the open hour to observe the uh, total solar eclipse. That was a very good idea. Mm -hmm. So the, this is the, uh, there are several uh, satellite antenna uh, from the broadcast system. I was there. Uh, but the, uh, one thing to note that uh, for, for this project, uh, we have only three staff, including me. So one uh, staff went to the uh, Iwoto, and then another staff was in Otemachi uh, for the uh, to the data center, and there was in Mitaka uh, to uh, deliver the uh, our video content to the broadcast casting uh, companies. So uh, this was very hard task. But fortunately, yeah, we could observe the total uh, solar eclipse, and then we could deliver uh, this kind of the uh, nice content to the uh, all over the world. So I think the uh, you saw this uh, total uh, solar eclipse in uh, 2009. Because they uh, the except for NHK, uh, the uh, the old the broadcasting company used the uh, the contents we delivered. Uh, NHK uh, used the uh, some sheep uh, and the 
on, on the chip uh, system to uh, observe the total solar eclipse. So, and the, uh, I was a uh, uh, project assistant professor at the University of Tokyo for four years. I was in charge of the cloud computing, but I don't talk this uh, much about how uh, much today because the time is running out. So um, today I'm going to talk about the high-speed software right regarding on the com uh, commercial of the shelf hardware. Uh, this, this is the, my uh, <coughs> main topic in the uh, previous work, and the, I mean the previous uh, affiliation. So uh, why do we need the uh, software routers, not the hardware routers? Uh, uh, that is because the uh, software routers are inexpensive and extensible and flexible. So. As you know, the internet has the uh, many components. So from the viewpoint, uh, 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 from the viewpoint of the architecture, uh, there is uh, some uh, several uh, separation, not the control frame and the frame, but they are there. They are uh, very changed uh, because it, they're difficult to change because the hardware is <laughs> uh, difficult to um, make change. But the recently, SDN has uh, software defined networks have been uh, developed. So the uh, the SDN, a key idea of SDN is to separate the control plane from data plane. So they uh, they try to implement some uh, control plane, control plane as a software. So the flexibility of the control plane increase. So and as you know, it's very difficult to change the network layer. Uh, you can imagine uh, that from the IPv6 transition. So I think the uh, less people are using IPv6, but the IPv6 itself has been standardizing there for um, and maybe it was <coughs> more than 10 years ago. So so it takes about uh, more than 10 years to try uh, uh, to migrate the uh, old network layer protocol to the new one. So it's not flexible. Uh, and the uh, one more thing is about the uh, interview operations. So the one unique point is the uh, of the internet is. Uh, the scalability. So, uh, internet provides some inter inter domain operation, the proxy based routing. So, uh, but uh, it uh, requires some uh, inter domain. I mean, the, between the com uh, between companies, uh, there is uh, some uh, coordinations. So, it is very difficult to uh, change drastic drastically. So, as you know, uh, the this uh, the last week. There was a big uh, fear of, of the internet. Uh, there, uh, they, m many people say, oh, oh, are you still using the, such kind of the uh, old protocols that are uh, standardized before the security is forecast? But they, uh, we still use the uh, very old <coughs> protocol because it's very difficult to uh, migrate a new technology. Um, but that is kind of scary with the stability. But the, um, we can. Uh, you, we want to use the uh, new technology at the uh, some hard, uh, some equipment. For example, we want to uh, implement new firewalls or new uh, traffic engineering tools such as the uh, routing, scheduling, uh, and queuing, blah blah blah. Uh, but the uh, it's very difficult to implement in the hardware because the hardware vendors require to um, focus on the uh, five years or ten years later uh, because it takes uh, much time for, for uh, to design the hardware chips. So it's very difficult. But the, uh, the software realization uh, uh, enables uh, the, the flexibility of the uh, data frame. So I focused on that. So the current achievement of my research uh, is uh, I could achieve the 102, uh, 120 gig BPS line learning for the a small budget on a single post, uh, and the, uh, it's very cheap. And the, uh, the single po core performance is uh, more more to be noted. Uh, the, I could achieve the uh, 223.1 million packet per second IP routing uh, from the one physical core. Uh, this, I, I think you know uh, this uh, processor is very old <laughs> because I could have a, such kind of old processor because I it didn't have any money to do that. But the key our technology and on the IP routing is the IP routing table lookup algorithm. So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, this is presented in the SMC code <coughs> 2015. Uh, the name is a pop try and the joint work with the 
last time of the entity competitions. So um, I'm going to give a brief summary of pop try. The pop try is a multi-way try for IP uh, routing table recap in software. So and it achieves the very small memory footprint to uh, meet the uh, meet, uh, needs. I uh, can say the, uh, to um, efficiently use the CPU cache, <coughs> and it could achieve the good performance. Uh, I did a very comprehensive evaluation to uh, show the uh, the, uh, the significance of the uh, pop try algorithm. So IP routing uh, table recap it was very simple. <coughs> uh, yeah, there were there were. Uh, Five or six, yeah, class A to E classes. Uh, so th there, uh, the IP addresses was uh, uh, how can I say uh, divided into the uh, five five groups, and the the prefix length for the uh, the size of the block was uh, fixed uh, statically allocated. But the uh, the after the uh, IPv4 address exhaustion, the uh, first age of the uh, IPv4 address exhaustion. Uh, they decided to uh, uh, the standardization organization uh, design, decided to uh, change the such idea. Uh, we can now uh, allocate the IPV, uh, IP blocks into the small chunks. For example, slash 30 or slash uh, 29, slash 25, slash 34, etc. So uh, the basic principle is uh, uh, of the IP leveling table recap algorithm is the uh, Longest prefix matching. So the uh, prefix is uh, more specific. I mean, the prefix is more longer than the uh, that of uh, prefix will be uh, will be uh, selected. So that is the uh, the prioritized uh, table. So in this uh, simple uh, implementation in software, uh, is can be done with the linear search. Uh, so there is a priority, so we can uh, sort the uh, list and then search the uh, the entry, uh, matching entry uh, according to the uh, priority. But we have, kind of we have, I'm sorry, um, kind of we have about the uh, three, uh, seven, uh, seven, seven hundred, uh, seven hundred thousand, uh, what is it? <laughs> okay, more than half million <laughs> entries. Uh, yeah, it's right, uh, it's, uh, it seems to uh, reach the one million in uh, in several years uh, entries of the uh, IPv4 routing table. So it's very large. So and uh, recently we need to uh, we need required very high performance, uh, high pickup rate. So um, the linear search, you know, as you know, it takes uh, the it is the order n algorithm. So the um, it's not a good idea to uh, achieve that good performance. So the uh, the old implementation of the old idea of software uh, implementation for the longest prefix match uh, is to use the radix tree. Uh, so the, it divides the uh, space into the uh, binary tree, and the uh, the prefix and uh, the priority uh, is encoded in the uh, depth of the uh, tree. So we can set the um, corresponding. Uh, entry by traversing the tree. But the uh, problem with the radix tree is that uh, they re we require, uh, we re need to um, traverse the tree up to 32 uh, depths of 32 uh, for IPv4. Uh, for IPv6, uh, the uh, depth is up to uh, 128. So it's, uh, we re uh, require the, uh, a number of memory access. That is the random memory access because the tree tra traversal is a uh, uh, generally uh, random access. And the, uh, it requires the uh, large memory footprint because uh, there are many uh, um, edges, I mean, links to the uh, child nodes. So that, uh, it cannot achieve the good performance. So there are several related facts, but I, I'm going to skip that. So so key ideas for high look, uh, high recap rate is, uh, are to reduce the uh, instructions, in including memory access, so we reduce the uh, uh, the recap depth of the try, and the the second uh, idea is to increase the CPU cache efficiency. So we uh, uh, propose the uh, succinct data stru data structure to compress the uh, data structure for the small memory footprint within the CPU cache. <coughs> 
So uh, this is the uh, uh, the visual representation of the radix tree. The at the center uh, there is a root node, and the, there are uh, many links and the nodes. So um, yeah, this is a simple uh, representation. And the, uh, this is the representation of the uh, pop tribe. Uh, there is a big uh, loop, but the, uh, that 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 uh, uses uh, about the one megabyte for the uh, root node. But the uh, the link is very uh, link is reduced, so the uh, the number of uh, memory access was also reduced, and the, uh, also the number of nodes are also uh, reduced, so they could achieve the high performance. So I'm going into the basic algorithm of the of try and then I'm going to uh, talk about the extensions to achieve the high performance. So uh, basically, uh, the try is a two to the power of k early multi uh, multi try. So the radix tree is a binary tree, but the, we uh, split the uh, the key IP addresses chunks into the uh, several bits. In this figure, we use the two. Uh, bits for each uh, traversal, <coughs> and then uh, we use the uh, full array multi drive. So we can uh, extend the several uh, internal nodes into the uh, child node, and then uh, encode it into the, uh, this kind of uh, tree structure. But the, uh, there <coughs> are still many uh, links from the, between nodes, and there are many nodes. So it requires a many uh, memory footprint. So I encoded it into the uh, the how can I say the, the binary encode and the uh, some uh, how can I say uh, the make a compression. So the pointers requires the uh, in the 64-bit CPUs the uh, pointers requires eight bytes. So it's very large. Uh, so they we use the uh, some uh, offset for the uh, pointers. Using the full four byte offset, so this is it's very similar to the full uh, the 32 bit CPU, and then I use this binary encoding to the uh, to point to the uh, position uh, appropriate position <coughs> from the pointers. So we combined uh, four uh, nodes into the one uh, array. So by using that, uh, we can uh, reduce the uh, link four links into the uh, one. Or pointers plus uh, the position indicator that is encoded in the binary. Luckily, uh, we can use the uh, pop, uh, pop uh, population count instruction, and there is a, of course there is a very fast alternative. But the, in the x86 uh, CPUs, there is a pop, <coughs> pop uh, population count that counts the uh, number of one bit uh, instruction. So uh, we can easily uh, compute the uh, position of the uh, corresponding uh, node in the array. However, um, the multi try increases some uh, redundant node. So <coughs> let's look at the uh, node A. Uh, node A is the uh, prefix uh, of slash 3. So the it is the uh, becomes the intermediate uh, node between the slash two and the slash four uh, boundary. So it creates new one node to match the uh, slash four uh, boundary. So the, there are two uh, A nodes in the right figure, and the, the, there are several redundant redundant nodes in this figure. This can be all reduced by uh, introducing the leaf vector. Uh, that is uh, also the uh, uh, k uh, no, no, to to the alpha power of k uh, bit vector, and the, uh, using the uh, pop count, we can uh, remove the uh, leaf node from the array descendant array array, not array. Okay. So um, this can also uh, aggregate several uh, some routes uh, that has the several destination. So the several uh, data corresponding to different keys. And uh, this is the, I, 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 I'm going to skip this uh, because uh, this is not important for you. But the, uh, for the uh, network research, this is important, but uh, I'm going to skip that. 
So I implemented this algorithm uh, so for the uh, to match the uh, the 64 64 uh, bit CPU. Uh, we use the uh, 8 byte. Uh, the K, we use the K equals 6, and uh, we use the uh, 8 bytes and uh, for vector and read back, and uh, we use the uh, pointer and the uh, relative pointers uh, base two and one for uh, four bytes. And the leaf node is uh, the generally uh, the number of the uh, data and the next hop in a uh, one IP router is less than uh, sixteen bits uh, length and this uh, six sixty five thousand. So they are, we use the leaf node uh, as the, we use two bytes for leaf nodes. So code is available here. It's very messy. I'm sorry, there's a research code. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, I evaluate uh, the, the performance of the uh, algorithm. So here is my uniqueness. Oops. Okay. okay. Also, I'm going to introduce a brief uh, summary of the uh, popularized performance. So it achieves the, uh, more than 240 million uh, recap uh, per second, so the, it is uh, it takes about the less than five nanoseconds for one IP address recap. So the, it is uh, it meets the requirements of the uh, uh, backbone coalers of the uh, ISPs. <coughs> okay. So, but the uh, my uniqueness is that yeah, we we generate this kind of evaluations is shows the some average performance like that. So the for the uh, we tried. 100, 100 million uh, times for the uh, recap. So, but the uh, for the uh, recap algorithm, there is the uh, worst case and the best case. So the for the uh, try, I mean the radix three, uh, if the uh, the answer is found at the uh, top of the node, it requires one memory recap. But if the uh, answer uh, are, is found at the uh, end of the traversal, it uh, the memory ac number of memory accesses will be uh, 32. So the, we need more. Uh, we need more than uh, average. So we made a more uh, um, detailed analysis using the um, sing single single task operating system. So we put the, some UDP packets with keys, and the, uh, it, that is uh, sent to the uh, NIC on the single task operating system. And then uh, get the uh, performance monitoring counters and the recap, uh, perform the recap, and then get the performance uh, counter again. So this enables me to um, to measure the detailed cycle count of uh, that take that took in the recap procedure. So this is the uh, cumulative distribution of CPU cycles for the post try. Uh, yeah, actually, the uh, the x-axis is the of CPU cycles per uh, recap, and the uh, y-axis is the cumulative distribution fraction. So this video shows that uh, okay. So several for several data, I mean several recaps, uh, it can uh, be done performed within uh, 25 cycles, but the several for several data, uh, it took the about the uh, 150 more than 150 cycles. So we need, uh, this is uh, why we need the uh, detailed analysis of the algorithms. So average is very good idea to evaluate, but the, uh, in the routers in the internet, somebody can uh, send the, uh, some malicious packet for, uh, that makes the uh, IP routers performance bad. bad. So the, we need the, uh, this kind of the, uh, detailed analysis uh, to um, guarantee the performance of the algorithm. So, um, so this is the detailed analysis. So the our post try, um, uh, this is these are the uh, post try uh, the evaluation of the post try. The x-axis is the uh, depth of the search uh, in the radix three, and the y-axis is the uh, uh, CPU cycles. Uh, this is the uh, box uh, uh, candle or stick graph. I mean. So the several week, uh, weeks in uh, show the fifth and the ninety fifth. Uh, percentiles and the bodies of the uh, this graph show the uh, 25th and the 70 the quartiles and the internal value is, is a median. So um, the pop try at uh, the 
95, look at the 95th percentiles, uh, the other uh, the rated researches on the top of the uh, this, uh, this figures. Um, uh, the worst case, I mean the 95th percentile, uh, they require about the 300 or 225, uh, 250, uh, 250 cycles per recur for the uh, longer prefixes, but the pop fry uh, can achieve the good performance. Uh, the, uh, it requires less than 200 cycles. So this is a, uh, this video showed that the pop fry is uh, good for the uh, smaller, shorter, and then longer prefix, <coughs> more specific prefixes. Yep. And uh, we evaluated the uh, lookup performance with the real, uh, real uh, traffic. Um, yep. Uh, this also showed the uh, advantage of the pop try, but the, uh, as I said uh, in, in the previous uh, slide, um, the longer prefix is, the performance of, for the longer prefix is better in the pop try. So the, uh, in the real traffic, for the random uh, key address generation, the, uh, the, it doesn't match, it, uh, match the longer prefixes, but the, uh, in the real traffic, there are many uh, longer prefixes. Uh, so uh, the, in the real traffic, the uh, pop try achieved a very good performance. Yep, and I also evaluated a new, uh, I guess, the future evolution of the uh, routing tables. Uh, at this time, uh, I'm the, in 2015, the size, the number of the entries of the, in the IP routing table, uh, IP routing table was about half million, but the, uh, now it is the uh, 700k kilo entries. So I evaluated the uh, more. Uh, Close to the uh, one million entries, no, not one million, uh, 76, uh, 764 kilo or 885 kilo entries. But it could achieve the uh, high performance. So the uh, so pop fry is envisioning the future growth of the routing <coughs> table. So the, this is the conclusion. The pop try uh, we propose the pop try uh, that is the multiple uh, try for IP routing table recap in software uh, that achieve the small memory footprint to use the CPU cache efficiently and the achieve the good, good performance. And uh, oh, with the pop try, this I showed this one uh, in, the, in, in the middle of the, my presentation. So we could achieve the 100 gig, uh, 120 gig. Uh, BPS line IP routing for small packets, and the uh, yeah, this is the uh, very significant in the in this area. But unfortunately, the uh, the paper uh, about this uh, was wasn't accepted, so I'm gonna try to submit resubmit this paper to somewhere. <laughs> so, okay, so let's finish our uh, my talk. Soon. So this is the uh, my. Previous uh, the uh, the experiment tall environment, so it's very difficult to set up. So they are very the uh, the on the machines. Uh, I run uh, I run a single task operating system. So that that is developed by by myself. So uh, it's very hard to evaluate. So yeah, I I, I think I need to um, um, polish the uh, environment. To uh, make to conduct the uh, the experiment again. Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions so far? I think we have uh, about ten minutes before lunch. You want more than that? CPU, yep. the only choice for the software around Yeah, um, <coughs> there was a uh, research using the GPU, but because the GPU uh, had a more faster memory and D DDR5 or 4, uh, that, uh, but the, uh, it, the latency uh, to use the GPU is very high because it, uh, it requires to trans transfer the 
uh, data to the GPU and they get the result from the GPU. So the uh, very large batching is required. That uh, affects the, uh, the latency and the uh, latency in the router. So some applications require low latency. Uh, so CPU is the one of the, uh, is um, is more preferable uh, in this area. But uh, for the uh, security uh, appliances, such as the firewalls or IPsec, that is uh, the en encryption protocol, um, there's uh, several uh, vendors use such kind of external uh, chipsets. Okay. 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 Okay.